just one of the exciting new features you'll find in Synlab 9 Print and Cut and Vinyl Pro is transparency support for vector and bitmap objects. Catlink have always focused on delivering the most powerful design tools in an easy to understand and use workflow. And you'll see in this short introduction, the transparency functions in Synlab 9 are no exception to this. Now I've already got my background for a new sales poster I'm creating and if I turn the fill off using the Alt and S key together you'll see it's simply made up of some vectored shapes placed on a background with a subtle radial gradient in the centre. The next step is to drop the image of the girl on top. Now when I do this you can see the image has a white background and this needs to go. I can do this using the Fluid Mask plugin. Now, although Fluid Mask is not new to Synlab 9, it's just one of the tools that has been perfected with the introduction of transparency support. In the Fluid Mask interface, you can see this intuitive plugin has done most of the hard work for me, masking out the gel from the background. Using an array of tools, I can easily complete the job by highlighting the remaining areas I want to delete and then the parts I wish to keep. The two areas between these two parts represent the transparency blend between the girl and the background that will be removed. When I save the image back to Synlab, the values in this blend are retained thanks to Synlab 9's transparency support. The end result is a flawless blend between my image and its new vector background, and regardless of what color I make my new background, the image still looks great. Okay, to finish off my poster, I want to drop the 50% text on the top of the image. I want to make this the main attention grabber in the design, but at the moment it's too overpowering and it's blocking out my newly clipped image far too much. Now rather than reduce this text in size, I'm going to use the new transparency settings to reduce the opacity, but I only want to do this on the portions that cover the gel and not the background. First I'm going to snap guides through the center of my text to make realignment simple. Now I need a second copy of the text, so pressing the Ctrl and D key together will achieve this. Next I'm going to bring the image of the girl to the front of my text. Ctrl plus F is the shortcut. What I now have is the photo sandwiched between my two copies of text. So using the guide I just placed on the screen, I can position the front piece of text directly back in the same spot as the rear piece of text. Now to make the word 50% a little bolder, I'm going to add a small black outline to my front copy. Okay, now to finish off, I'm going to reduce the opacity of the text to reveal more of the gel image below. So with only the top copy selected, I'm going to open up the transparency fill settings from the menu on the left here. There are eight settings here in total, and for this example, I'm going to use a simple uniform fill. All I need to do is adjust this slider to alter the opacity of the white text. As I'm doing this, you'll see only the portions of text over the girl get affected. Okay, so about 40% here should work just fine. I can now select all the text objects together and the black outline and move them to a different position on the design. I can reduce or increase the size or even angle them. And all the while the transparency settings are only viewable on the parts of the text that are above the image of the girl. This simple idea was easy to achieve thanks to the simple design workflow of Synlab and the new transparency support you'll find in Synlab 9 Print and Cut. Check out our other feature presentations on the net at www.cadlink.com.